Today is the 27th of October, and Bethel Lutheran uh, just called me. It's a uh, Lutheran church uh, that's downtown, and um, they said that they really didn't want anything to do with this, and they first mentioned because it's an anti-organized religion rally. I reread the blog, and I am talking about a corrupt branch of Christianity, the American Evangelical Church that has propped up Trump, that has not speak it, spoken out against a presidency where there is no humility, no mercy, no justice, no love. And then she said that maybe I should um, not mention Trump, that I should take Trump out of it. But that would be like Martin Luther not mentioning the Pope, and not mentioning the Vatican. And the thing is, I'm reminded of uh, Revelation 3, um, the letter to the Church of Laodicea. And I'm going to read this. Uh, 15. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Now, now, I am hot. And I consider those who are speaking out for justice hot. We, I consider myself hot, on fire for the Lord. I consider myself passionate. I consider the Franklin Grahams, the Donald Trumps, they may seem passionate. They may be hot, but they're hot. It's not hot. It's anger. It's fear. It's hate. It's cold. There's no spirit. There's no light of Christ in there. So there's no heat of Christ. So they are cold. But we have lots of Christians who are not standing up who are not speaking out against the corrupt church. And we have a generation fleeing the church. We have the largest percentage of atheists and nuns ever. And I have to say that, that I have to say that people like the person I spoke to are lukewarm. We can't afford to be lukewarm. Because if we are lukewarm, and if there's not enough of hot people speaking out, the coldness, the darkness will take over. To quote one of the shows that's very popular at the time that I don't watch because I don't have HBO, Winter is Coming. But the fire of the Lord melts any snow, any cold heart. But we have to speak up. And so I pray that some people might come on Halloween. I pray uh, that Mrs. Burstein, that Mr. Horsey, um, and the other reporters that I'm emailing with the 45 tweets... I pray that they publish them. I pray that a larger group of Christians will speak out. And not just on Facebook or in blog form, but in person. Speaking out so they are seen. So the media will see us and realize that the Jeffress, the Grahams... The evangelicals that are on TV are not evangelicals, but are actually false prophets. That they are liars. That they are not of God, but of their father, the devil. And he said that, I'm doing this because I hate Trump. And I hate the religious right. But the thing is, all they have to do is listen to us and repent. Come to God. Speak out against Trump. Trump could come to God and repent. 
Imagine what a wicked man like Trump reborn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I once was lost and now I'm found. Who saved a wretch like me. Trump is a wretch. But Jesus can save him. And imagine the power if Jesus would save Trump, if Trump would allow him in his heart. So again, be hot like me. Be cold like them. But don't be lukewarm. God bless.